Many of you know that I was out of town and that's why everything was pre-recorded last week. Um, I was doing some really important training in South Dakota with some amazing people from Active Self-Protection. And um, so my tidbit kind of ties in with that just a little bit. And it's it's more maybe of a fun one tonight. So hang with me for just a minute before we bring Tiffany on. The tidbit of the week is called Hokey Pokey. Do you guys remember doing the hokey pokey dance when you were a kid? You put your left foot in and you put your left foot out. You shake it all about, turn around, do the whole hokey pokey dance, right? We all know what that is. So I learned about a practice from John Korea this past weekend that really helped me reset and recalibrate my nervous system while I was on the line because um, I'm not sure I've been under that much pressure in quite some time. And uh I just wanted to quickly share that with you, but I also want to, more than that, expand on that concept in another way uh, that I think might help you in your shooting and in your everyday life. So shout out in the comments here, when you're extremely stressed out, what do you do to try to manage your nervous system in real time? Do you try to take a deep breath? Do you have a mantra that you run in your head? What do you focus on mentally? For me, I typically have a shake it out dance. So if you're on the Facebook uh, group, the Defenders Live Facebook group, I think I posted a, one of my shakeout dances on there before, so you may have seen it. But the reason I do that is because my hands feel like they're buzzing with energy whenever I get on the line. So I have to shake them out to get that energy out. And in the past, that practice had worked for me pretty well, well enough at least uh, in the past. But when I got to this particular situation with these super high-end shooters um, last weekend, it, it wasn't doing the trick. And so suddenly I'm on the line with John Korea and my go-to practice is no longer doing the trick. And my nervous system was at an all time high. And so I actually got agitated. I mean, it was really with myself, but I was outwardly agitated and that reflected in, in my tone of voice and my speech and everything else. But John picked up on this and he redirected me to do one simple thing. He asked me to turn myself around on the line, which he calls the hokey pokey. Like literally, just turn yourself around. And I thought that was insane. Like, how could that help me calm down? But I did it anyway. And I did it, uh, turn myself around and I reset my nervous system. I uh, was surprisingly able to refocus and there's science behind why that works. And I have to read up on that. I'm on a steep learning curve right now with lots of things that I'm learning and I'm sharing them with, with you as I learn them. But if you know what that is, or if you have a book recommendation regarding that, drop that in the comments so we all can see that because um, I'm sure this isn't new to some of you. But Anyway, John was very observant of my state. He recognized that what I was trying wasn't working. He simply redirected me towards something else that might help. And John, if you're watching, I just want to say thank you for that because that hokey pokey dance really helped me. And so with that being said, I want you guys to go back now and think about the hokey pokey dance again. Now, do you remember the other part of the hokey pokey dance besides turning yourself around? It's the part where you put your left foot in and your left foot out, okay? And I was thinking about that part a little bit more today, and I thought of it in another way. And maybe this will be a lesson for all of us tonight. How many times in your life or in your mind do you do the equivalent of putting your left arm in and then taking your left arm out? Meaning, are you going back and forth? Are you unsure or undecided? This could be in life or under stress on the range. Perhaps you've got a plan right up until you step on the line and then all of a sudden you may start to doubt your plan or yourself and you mentally retreat. So you're kind of like you're all in and then all of a sudden uh, you get scared maybe and retreat. Or maybe it's a lack of consistency. Do you have a tendency to be fully committed or very back and forth? It might depend on the task, right? So think about that. Do you get scared when you get to a place you're not sure of and you retreat or pull back? or do you lean in and allow yourself to be uncomfortable? So be honest with yourself when you think about this. So in life, I think that the uh, that aspect of the hokey pokey dance can be detrimental while exposing yourself to new things in an incremental way can be an excellent and necessary strategy. It can also turn into an excuse to not fully commit because we as humans 
really love to be comfortable and we really don't like to be vulnerable. But comfortable is not where it's at. So I want you to consider the times when leaning into that, that uncomfortable and staying there for just a little bit might be the key to growing into the person you were meant to be. So think about those times when you've been uncomfortable and hokey pokey your way out of it, like touching a hot stove, and now consider leaning in instead of staying in a small bit of uncomfortableness and see what kind of growth happens. And then just like the hokey pokey, when you're all done, turn yourself around and try it all again and realize that's what it's all about. See what I did there? (laughs) Oh man, jokes. I'm probably the only one laughing at my jokes right now, but I love the ending of that. That was great. 